Today, I want to take you guys to World Market with me to go shopping. This is one of my absolute favorite stores and a place that I don't see people talk about a whole lot. So let's go ahead and go in there and see what they've got going on. All right, look at these chocolate printed flowers. Oh my goodness. That would be such a fun thing to tuck into an Easter basket or just give as a gift to a friend with something. We've got bunny rabbits. These little bunny rabbits are so adorable. Love them. And they're not too big, too, if you don't want to go too big with the chocolates. There's also these little chocolate families. And, oh, the tie, the little overalls, the floppy ear on one of them. Too cute. I decided, you know what? I think that my kids are going to need these. Also, if you hear some background noise, my kids are playing video games right now. So, that's just that's just how we roll. Look at this. Look at this crunchy melt Oreo cream cookie. Yes, please. I'd like to eat that. <laughs> We've got Cadbury eggs here and Cadbury fingers. We have some other printed little chocolate gift sets. Look at how cute these are. I love these. I'm, I'm showing you guys nutritional facts like you're going to actually care about that right now. Because hello, chocolate. The tulips, I really liked. I think that that would be a sweet gift to give to somebody. And they have this spring collection over here with these beautiful art chocolates inside. I think that this is fantastic. For $10.99 for the art of it, I think that's worth it. And they have my favorite chocolate balls. Neapolitan ones though, I haven't had those. Those look great. Got some Ghirardelli little Easter designs down here which look fantastic. And then I saw these giant chocolate eggs. How fun would these be to put in the middle of a Easter basket? My kids would go wild. Love the paper products they have here. I have so many friends that love to have seasonal paper plates and these are rainbow ones. I've never seen anything like that before. So that's pretty cool. They have some nice simple little napkins. I like the kind of like Peter Rabbit vibe with the coloring. Down here they have all sorts of little jellied candies. I hate those eggs though. I don't know who likes those. If you do, you're a weirdo. <laughs> I'm kidding, but not. These are really cool napkins too, shaped like butterflies. I think that they're almost too pretty to even use, but if you did use them, I think they would really elevate your little dining setup. And these would be really great to decoupage too with if you were into that. They have some little Easter noodles down here, which are pretty similar in price to what I've seen at Marshall's. So if you're already here and you like to make some fun festive pasta salads, this is a great way to do that for the season. Oh, my kids used to love these. My little one, not so much. He's not the biggest gummy fan, but my oldest son loves those. It's interesting that they have some edible grass. I don't know if this has been around, but they've got green apple here, strawberry, and blueberry, which is pretty fun if you ask me. Love Hello Kitty. I don't care that I'm in my upper 30s. She's adorable. She comes with a little egg here and a little marshmallow face. We have some bubblegum Easter grass that you can tuck into a basket. And they have these little hoppy Easter bunnies you can tuck into cocoa. If you live like where I live, it's still chilly in the spring, so cocoa is still very relevant. My kids love Pez dispensers. These are a pretty common thing to get during the holidays. So I think, you know, these little Pez dispensers might be a great fit for them. We're going to go ahead and do that. 
I thought these little chickadee eggs were super cute. They're a little surprise egg and the faces on them are just comical and adorable. I thought that these were precious and I really like the one with the glasses. He was cool. <laughs> they had some dino pop eggs where kids could get little surprises out of that if they like dinosaurs. They have Peeps gummies. Again, kids aren't into gummies all that much right now, but pretty fun. I've seen these Peeps on a stick before. It's a pretty cute idea instead of getting the packaged ones. Then I saw that they had these colorful hot chocolate kits. Apparently it will color their hot chocolate pink. That's fun. They have cotton candy flavor here, which sounded pretty good to me in my opinion. They also had a wild berry flavor, and then these peeps that were dipped in chocolate, which again, how could that be bad? Marshmallow chocolate, yum! They have some Star Wars Pez dispensers, and then like the Hello Kitty egg, they have one with the Baby Yoda, and I know it's not Baby Yoda, but to me, it's Baby Yoda forever. <laughs> There's also a Kinder Happy Kit here. Ugh, I remember when Kinder was all the craze around here. But I bet this is pretty good. Look good to me for 10 bucks. And I'm sure my kids would eat them up. And a tiny egg carton with chocolate eggs. How adorable is that packaging? Love it. I love holiday banners. This Happy Easter one is probably one of my favorites that I found there. The price was a little higher than I would want to pay, however, for a banner, but I wouldn't say that they're not worth it. The craftsmanship on these is really stinking adorable, and I know they would have had to take time. That would be so cute hanging off of a door. And then they had this one that says, Be Hoppy. And again, it's got little, I don't know, it's like felt with little, what would you say, jewels on it? It's just super adorable. I have a fireplace in my little woman cave and I just love putting garland on it. This little felt flower uh, wreath was adorable too. I really liked the idea of that and I've never seen anything like it. I thought that this little sheep and pig were hilarious with their little wood legs. So funny. I almost thought about getting them, but they're a little too kitschy for me, I think. And then if you're somebody that does a holiday tree all year long, they've got the little ornaments here for you. Super cute. I'd probably do a holiday tree if I had a good spot for one because I think it's a cute idea. They even have little colorful Easter eggs that you could put on your trees. I love it. Love these pillows too with the flowers on them. So cute. Very spring vibes. And they have a array of baskets for filling up. And then I think that they were calling these fairy houses. Um, when I looked at them online, and I think that they are something they might do all year long in different kinds of houses. And then they have bunnies, too, that are really cute for decor. I really like this one with the little coat. So cute, and the burlap ears. I love it. And they had tiny little bunnies you can kind of pop around your house, or if you're having like a coffee tray or you have just little areas that you like to pop in little pieces of easter decor they have so many little bunnies here to do that with they also had this bee daisy garland that was all wood super cute you have a bee theme going on anywhere like at a coffee corner or maybe your office and then a bee happy sign was super cute too I uh, thought that would be adorable on a patio. Love it so much. They had these cute little green felt 
uh, bunnies. I've seen something like this at the Dollar Tree that you could probably DIY for yourself, but I really, really like those a lot. They're great. And then there is this wooden little Asian vibe, I don't know, maybe India vibe, uh, bunny rabbit for design that I really liked. Very, very cool. And I like these little twined eggs. You can definitely DIY these, but this would be really cute sitting in a bowl somewhere in your home. I like them. And I'm going to have to tell you guys, I saw these little bunnies and they were so stinking cute. I kept thinking, do I need them? And the answer is yes. These little baby bunnies needed to come home with me and I've popped them up on my shelf in my kitchen as a little sweet decor piece. It's just little pink noses, their tiny little ears. Ugh, oh, cute. Lots of beautiful wreaths here. This one was so full and beautiful. I want to say it was around 30. Kind of hard to read, but so pretty. So full. And they have lots of floral arrangements that you could bring home and put around your house to bring some color back into it. A little bunny rabbit wreath. Very, very cute. 30 bucks. And then we have these little nests with the eggs. I thought that would be really cute in like a coffee corner or on a fireplace mantle. And I almost left with this. I keep thinking about it. It's so cute. You could put like, well, I have a little bird salt and pepper shaker. I should have brought it home and put the little birds in there. I think that would have been adorable on my table. Look at this doormat. Holy color. So nice. I love the Hello Sunshine. It's such a fun pop of color for the summer. I've seen this Hello design before, but not this floral print. So that was really nice as well. Let's see, price is okay, in my opinion, for what it is. And then they had a big butterfly cutout rug as well, which I think would be great for like a little back door entrance or maybe on your patio. Very nice. And more of those bunnies. I just uh, throw a bunny in an outfit, make it look like a human, and I'm sold. I don't have any of those around my house, but I like them. A little more minimalistic bunny for you if you're into that. Oh, look at those cheeks. Maybe bunnies are my favorite animals, especially if you put them in overalls like Peter Rabbit. Oh, my heart is sold. 90s one, but you should now officially always wear overalls, obviously. They had a little carrot patch farm stand sign, which I feel like you can find similar signs you can zhuzh up from the Dollar Tree. But if you're not a zhuzher, you could pay full price. I thought the carrot pillow was pretty cute. I like the little design of the different uh, carrots there. Sometimes finding the price one-handed is a chore. 30 bucks for a pillow. Yee! <laughs> what we got up here? Oh, yes. The Nutcracker Bunnies. They had quite a few of these, and they're very interesting. If you know somebody that likes to collect nutcrackers, this looks like it might be an annual thing they do, since it does have the year at the bottom of them. So, I had to see how it worked. It looks like it can crack some nuts. <laughs> 2023, your annual nut cracking bunny. I really like these egg wreaths as well. I think that they're such a cute idea for Easter time. And it gives me a great idea for DIY as well. Because I would have never thought to do this. But big colorful speckled eggs are so pretty. I think that would be very nice on a door. I bet there's a handful of you out there that would have never thought to come to World Market for skincare, but they have quite the selection of things. They've got masks, they've got eye patches, and pimple patches, and, and super fun designs too. I feel like these are the kind of things that you get in subscription boxes, and I love it. I certainly never really noticed this table before, but I 
I'm here for it and I will keep it in mind when I'm running low on masks. I have this like cream to put on the skin. For some reason, the let me skin though um, label there bothered me. <laughs> they have variety packs for different things, collagen and things I cannot pronounce, but I'm sure our skin all very much needs. They also had some really nice candles here. I've kind of been into candlesticks lately. I love the design of these for five bucks. I know Anthropology gets a little crazy with their candles, so seeing these here was pretty nice. They have all sorts of candlestick holders. These crystal ones are everything. I absolutely love these clear ones. I think they're so elegant and easy to pop in for decor anywhere because obviously they're gonna go with anything but I am the mother of boys who like to throw and shoot everything. So not in this century, but maybe the next I will buy something like this because they are gorgeous. I really like these copper ones, certainly more durable. And they even have some color candle sticks up here. If you're into incense, they have a plethora of choices for you. I like incense, but sometimes they're a little bit too intense for me. Um, but they are kind of cool. They also had some fun little like yoga pose animals over here. An elephant and the zebra. I was feeling that vibe. I have some stacking stones, which is funny to me that people would buy these. Um, our world is full of free flat stones everywhere. <laughs> what else we got? Oh yes, I really like these uh, hanging greenery. If you're somebody like me who has a black thumb and all the plants in your home tend to die, they got you. I do have a succulent though that I need one of these for. This one's really pretty. Somehow I've kept that thing alive. Probably because it's not very needy. I really like this vase. It looks like it would be holding flowers. Isn't that really cool? I already have a thing for hands. I've had hand statues in my house and around my yard. I just, I think that it's beautiful. I'm also really drawn to that green color. Oh, they have, they have it right there. Look at that. They have peace signs. I think I have a peace sign in my office now that I'm thinking about it. This is pretty cute little sleeve you can put over a pot and give it a little bit more design element. Pretty glassware. What else? A little walking shop with me moment here. <laughs> All right, they've got dinos that you can hatch, which would be fun in an Easter basket. Again, if your kiddo's into dinosaurs, and if not, well, they can hatch a unicorn. Why not? That's pretty fun. They have a little chick you can even hatch. You just put it in water and watch it happen. Very cute. Oh, man. Would you look at this? This is what every kid needs. <laughs> I think it's pooping out little frog eggs. I'm not sure, but it's a thing. You can do it. Anything involving pooping in my house is a win. They've got little air dough kits for your little crafty kids to make things. They have some fun little tattoos. I've always thought of taking one of my kids and just putting tattoos all up their arms just for fun. I just don't have the patience for that. We have little poppers, some bubble blobby bunnies that are sticky. You could probably throw them on the wall. Yep, so throw them on the wall and watch them crawl. 
they have some Easter books here for kiddos. It could be pretty fun. Especially if you're getting a kid reading. Oh, I've seen these where you spin the egg to color on them. They have those kits here for you, which is pretty nice. And they have adorable little bunnies. Oh my. Oh my. I mean, this, this is a must. Don't you think? Never seen anything like this one. So if I find two, I will get two, obviously. You know, my household, this makes 100% sense. <laughs> what else we got? Oh yes, the sensory putties, where you can add little things in there and find it in the putty. Let's see, very cute little bunnies would be great for a little baby basket. I like his little face. We got purple ones too. This little bug is adorable. I love it. I think it's a little spider maybe? I'm not sure. Oh no, they have wings. Maybe it's a bee. So I can tell you I've seen these at the Dollar Tree as well for catching bugs, but this one looks like better quality, a little thicker. But just let you know, you can find similar things at the Dollar Tree. Oh, a glass whistle, or grass whistle, excuse me. I wonder if kids know that they can make that whistle happen with two thumbs and a blade of grass. Who else did that as a kid? I was always terrible at it, but I tried. I love these plants and I immediately want one for my office. Family, if you're watching this, I want this guy. I want this guy for my cube. I want him so bad. That little orange pot one is adorable. And I don't even care. Yes, I kill plants and I buy the stuffed version. <laughs> they have little bouncy balls with thingamajigs in them. This looks like a squeezy, a bubble blower would be good for little ones. And ah, the yo-yo weapon. Did you guys know yo-yos were initially invented as a weapon? And my children know this. They they certainly do. They have a little bee house you can put up outside and see if bees come. I feel like the wasp in my home would take it over. Those little stingers. These are pretty fun. I like a good uh, a good launcher, especially bunny style. This seems like a uh, a clear Easter basket stuffer win for me. I don't know why I give my children things to launch. <laughs> I guess because I know they'll use them. Oh, look at these uh, bunny ear baskets. I don't know how well they would do with searching for eggs with these. I feel like the, the little ears would get in the way, but they're very cute. Okay. If you didn't know about World Markets Jewelry, I'm here to tell you, it's all so, so good and reasonably priced. I've purchased earrings here before and they are great quality. They haven't tarnished on me. I have these little moon ones, absolutely love them. And they're always just like delicate, simple, just very nice quality. I always feel extra put together when I have earrings from here. But just jewelry in general. Look at that. Pressed flower earrings. I feel like these are the kind of earrings that you go to Etsy and spend a lot of money for. So I just wanted to put you guys onto these and show you the various prices. Um, looks like they all kind of range from like 5 bucks to 13 They have some dangly earrings and some really pretty flower pressed earrings necklaces like that's gorgeous the chain's gorgeous 10 bucks for that i love it i think that it's wonderful they also have some more earrings over here kind of more of a fashion statement style love these floral hoops so interesting had some glass acrylic ones let's see what we got here a dainty multi-chain multi necklace which I always tangle I haven't figured out the trick to that yet I have earrings that look just like that that I got from a subscription box too 
look at this table runner it's like crystals it's so pretty i'd want to put it on a wall it's so so pretty very expensive though <laughs> These are super cute. They are napkin holders with bunny ears. Again, if I was a hostess of the mostess, I would do this in a heartbeat. That is adorable. I've never seen anything like that. They also have these super cute table runners with the bunny ears. I think that's gorgeous. Very spring, very pretty. I love it. This glass was beautiful. I would drink water out of this and just be extra, you know? Why not? It's beautiful. Love this little candy dish or trinket dish with the blue bunny in it. Certainly pretty. I know a lot of people that do the dark blue in their kitchen and I love it. Very, very pretty. They had some really cool looking coffee cups as I was heading towards the door. I've never seen anything like this and it was kind of fun to hold. Very unique. I don't know, I feel like I see cups like this on Etsy for so much money. With like the unique handles and fun little painted shapes. Speckled is pretty too definitely spring cups look at this it's a cactus water cup or tea cup whatever little mason jar cup so cute we had these ones too with the unique handles and just i don't even know what you call this art it definitely looks rustic and homemade doesn't it this handle was kind of funny trying to show it to you guys looks like a little butt <laughs> i would see that a normal person would be like it's like shaped like a bee i'm like it's shaped like a butt okay now this was one of the coolest cutting boards i've seen in my entire life it looks like a tarot card but it's a margarita glass wouldn't this look really awesome in a bar area or out on a patio They've got cactus uh, decanters, or I don't know what you call these. They're really cool looking though. It'd be a fun way to serve tea or punch at an event. You can have yourself a whole cactus theme. They've got like the Mexican restaurant bar style margarita glasses. I really like these and I've been thinking I need a pair of utensils for things like salad when I serve it and these were like an acrylic green hammered handled looking set I don't know what else to say it was really nice these plates were really pretty I believe they were microwave safe I can't remember what I read there but that's something very important in my family to do so love that love the glasses and just a different kind of almost like Arizona vibe you know this is a really nice platter too that you can set up against the wall when you're not using it to use kind of as art I love doing that kind of stuff in my little kitchen these were fun candy bars smooth like butter hello darling zero flocks given these kind of candy bars make great gifts or just you know thinking about you type things or even prizes if you do anything that you give out prizes for i haven't seen the fruity pebble birthday cake i've seen regular fruity pebble so that was new to me i've had that hammond's chicken waffle bar too and i will say it's pretty tasty it's very unique Got the chocolate frogs from Harry Potter and some butter beer hard candies to suck on. Just kind of perusing the little candy station as you leave. Strawberry slicer and a little mushroom tea thing. I'm interrupting the shopping trip just to let you guys know that I am making a second trip 
on a lunch break because I felt like we only saw a quarter of the store. Maybe like 25% of the store and we have to go back. And I had to tell you guys because you might see I'm wearing different shoes. So I needed to explain that just in case that happens. Okay, let the shopping continue. We've got hats, people, all the hats. I have one of those heads that I just feel like it's really hard to find a hat that fits right and looks right with my hair, but I do love these hats on other women. Occasionally I find one that looks all right on me. This one, I don't know, was giving me a little bit more of like a Western vibe to it a bit. I think that would be cute to wear to a country concert or something like that. Okay, bucket hats, cool or not. My husband used to wear his bucket hat all the time when I met him. Lord love him, but oh my goodness. <laughs> they have this waffle type fabric on this robe and I thought that was really interesting. I don't think that it was quite for me, but it was interesting. And then they had these very lightweight, almost like a sheet fabric robes. And I was thinking to myself, this would be wonderful to wear when you're delivering a baby or post baby, when it's somewhere where it's really hot. The fabric on these were just so light and cool feeling. I was really, they were really nice. They even had some pajama pants that felt that same like cooling, very thin fabric, perfect for a hot summer night or maybe if you're older and you suffer from hot flashes. I love the yellow flower one. I thought that one was gorgeous. They had this like jungle vibe. They had both the rope top and then they had pants to wear with it. So, so cozy. And I feel like they would just breathe amazingly. And then for you cheetah girls out there, here you go. This is for you. <laughs> They also have some uh, toiletries for men, a man bar, different deodorants and hand wash. Just randomly saw this little towel over here and I'm like, oh, you're nice. Oh, you're kind of expensive too. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you guys remember these pearls from growing up? My mom had pink ones, and I just remember popping them in the bathtub. That just threw me back a little bit. They had some different clearance items I was just kind of scanning over. This soap had a beautiful label on it. When I sniffed it later, because I did go back, um, it had a very earthy smell. So if you're into like um, essential oils, I think you would like these products. A little face mist, <laughs> a little bottle of Calm. I know a few people that could uh, use this little bottle or two for sure. Cute little lip gloss. Have a nice day. Does anybody know what YouTube content creator says that? Let me know below if you know. This would have been a cute journal if it wasn't damaged. It's too bad that it got all bent up. I am a bath bomb sister. I almost grabbed these to bring home, but I passed on them. I still need to use up what I have, so I'm not going to be buying too many things. I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional. This cooling eye gel mask looked really cute. And they also had some nail stickers shoved back there, which if I wasn't getting my nails done, I definitely would have left with those. They even have a big old bag of hand soap refills. No idea about that brand though. This is when I turned over and I saw this rug and I was like, oh, Daisy rug, where do I need this in my life? <laughs> I thought this was so cute. It'd be so cute in an entryway, in a bathroom, in a girl's room. I thought it was so pretty. The price was okay. 
you're gonna see I'm a little bit obsessed with rugs because we're gonna hang out over here for a second. Pulled this one out because I wanted to see what it said. And it says, so fresh and so clean. That would be adorable in a bathroom. Love the design of it. And it is $30, kind of expensive for a bath rug if you ask me. I ended up getting this one because it was on clearance and it goes very well with the look I'm going for in my kitchen. So I went ahead and brought that one home. This one was super fun. I like the colors of it and just the uniqueness of it. Kind of gives me rainbow vibes, kind of gives me like a racetrack vibe, I don't know. You can see they have all the towels. <laughs> so many choices here, I was overwhelmed. I wanted to show this one just in case it's something that you might be looking for. It's kind of unique in the coloring and the design. This was a Sherpa chair, very interesting. And I liked this pillow. I like the coloring of it, but don't need it for that price in the past. They had a big day bed here with all sorts of pillows on it. And I can definitely tell World Market is, is here for the textures. Like they're all about that. I tend to go for pillows that are soft and easy to clean. So I wouldn't necessarily go for these, but I love how they look. And this table was rad. I love the base of it. It was like this big bowl base and the coloring of the wood was gorgeous. I truly do love the vibe of this little design they got going on here. And these pillows were cool. They remind me of those knot pillows I've been seeing everywhere, but they're just a basic square pillow. Again, kind of pricey for what it is. I mean, it's a pillow people. $50, but at least you can clean it. That's good, especially since it's white. This was a cool little table too. It had like that hammered tin look, very unique, easy to clean. This one, however, would not be easy to clean. I wasn't really into that, but it looks cool, right? This looks like a nice cozy couch to pop into and take a nap. Had to see what that pillow was. I couldn't make it out. Another unique chair with the black and white and this pillow. Now this is a pillow that I would get. Of course, this one didn't have a price, but if it was like the others, it was probably 20 plus dollars. Big old wall of pillows. You can just see they just have so many unique designs. That's pretty amazing. If you are designing your house, World Market might be where you need to get a little bit of inspiration. These pillows were on a clearance. Very vibrant. Very pretty. Still kind of expensive for me for what they are. But I'm going to show them. I'm all about the good vibes and I love the design of this. It gives me like that hand embroidered vibe. Very cute. I don't think it belonged over here though. It was too close to clearance. I had my hopes up. <laughs> well, if World Market is where you are looking for a lamp, then they got you covered because they have so many design choices. I didn't realize what they had in here because again I just I never come to this back corner but if you're looking for something unique this place might get you covered I love that that's so cool I really love that beaded chandelier it gives me like beachy boho vibes they have some with like that glass shell look and I really love that flower looking one in the back I know exactly the room I would want that in. It's so pretty. And then here they have where you could mix and match, which I absolutely love that because everybody's houses have a little bit of a different vibe. 
and they've got all these beautiful glass bottoms and then interesting different shades absolutely love that you can do that here kind of got like tiki bar vibes and then look at this one up here isn't that cool i've been seeing these around as like a design element up on shelves just kind of interesting you just kind of sit it in a pile and they also have uh, these that look like a big old knot which again very interesting they have these little globes you can sit out i've always liked a globe ever since i was a kid these frames are gorgeous i love the way that they look and this moon shelf is super cool. Okay, if you need a wicker basket, again, World Market has you covered. They have so many different design options. But I will say that Marshalls gets wicker baskets in. And you're probably going to spend 5 to $10 less for the basket there versus here. But they have a lot of design choices here. So... I don't know. Try both if you're looking for one. A little book of like hacks. I mean, don't we all need that in our life? My brain's going, you hacker. That's what my kids are always saying, playing video games. Ooh, ways to have healthy, attractive hair. Looks like there's some fashion advice in here. How to remove wrinkles from clothes. Oh my goodness, it gives you all sorts of little, little tips. Love it. This was a cool frame. I love the sunburst look of this. Honestly, I might come here for when I need frames going forward because they have so many unique design ideas here. But if I want a basic frame, I'm going to thrift it because it's always going to be cheaper if I thrift those. I've always loved these hourglass things, but as I was messing with it, I could not for the life of me figure out how to work it. And I was like, you know, you're probably going to break it, Raina. Just stop. <laughs> Who loves the pushing cat? I do. I don't know what it is about it. It's probably because it's a fat cat. He's just doing all the things, but I think he's cute. And I love a coloring book that isn't all fine lines. I tend to go for children's coloring books if I want to color versus the adult ones. I'm just being honest. I absolutely thought this was adorable. It was just too expensive for me. $27, holy smokes. But it is really cute. A little squishy strawberry. Great little Easter basket stuffer or something like an office gift for somebody. But again, I feel like you can get that cheaper elsewhere. This was a really cute little pencil pouch. If you have somebody that's got an office job or going back to school, this might be a good little place to put together a package for them. Send your feelings card set. Eh, these were okay. I felt like they needed more variety in them for the price. They have some games over here and miscellaneous things like magnets, books. Just kind of taking it all in. They have a great women in memory game. I'm terrible with names, so I'm I would be not knowing who I was looking at. <laughs> so this is a feminist postcard set and I wouldn't say that I'm a feminist, but I'm definitely somebody that empowers other women. Um, I just don't like to do it in a way that necessarily tears down other genders. It's just not my thing. But I do know women I can think of that would absolutely love these postcards. So I wanted to share. They had some very strong messages. You know why weak men are afraid of strong, connected women. Oh, I didn't read that right. I should have slowed it down. <laughs> Anyways, I know those are going to serve somebody. 
Oh, Dolly Parton. I love her. Oh my goodness, I love her. And especially since she's been more in the media and we've gotten to know more about her. I think that she is an amazing woman. If you talk bad about country music, it's like saying bad things about my mama. Them's fighting words. Amen. Amen, Dolly. Them's are fighting words. Country is always going to be part of my soul. One line a day book. Oh my goodness, the cat butt coloring book. Somebody needs that. I don't know who, but somebody. <laughs> the bathroom guest book. That would be perfect for your host friend. Okay, so this area is always super fun. We're in the area where they have all the snacks and food and the reason I love World Market is because they really do give you an experience from other countries right at your fingertips. I mean, I'm seeing stuff in here from Europe. I'm seeing stuff in here from Asia and even like things that you would find in the States, but maybe not in your own personal state. It's just a really fun place to come and pick out a couple treats take them home, share them with your family, or just enjoy them for yourself and experience a taste from somewhere else. They even have those little like create your own kits that you might seen before. High chews are freaking addicting. Who's with me? The flavor is so good. They have all these different jellies and hard candies to try and so many gummies. Holy smokes you're looking for a gummy they probably have it they also have a pretty elaborate ramen collection i actually came here for my oldest and made him a big old box of ramen from here and it was a super fun gift to give if you're somebody that doesn't want to put together one they also have a 12 days of noodle box so you can give a variety pack to somebody okay who would eat these who out there would eat these real German bottled sausages? <laughs> no, thank you. I didn't really show their collection, but they do have a lot of hot sauces here. So if you know a pepperhead, they have some really unique sauces here. I got the bomb here before. If you guys have seen that YouTube series, they have a da bomb here and we bought it. It's freaking hot. They also have lots of charcuterie goodies here between meats and cheeses and sauces. They got you covered. They're ready. They have this mystery snack box. My oldest would absolutely love that. And they also have this one that is a mystery snack box. Super fun gifts for kids or adults. Sure, why not? More ramen. And then they just have different ethnic food from all over the place. Oh Lord, more, more canned sausages. Makes my stomach turn. <laughs> okay, I'm into this though. Mustard in a tube. That's like what every charcuterie board needs. Why is not all mustard in a tube? Tell me, tell me now. Beans for beans and toast. I ended up picking these up for my husband. He loves meat sticks and I've never seen these before. They're called salami whips. They also have lots of pastas here, um, different kinds of noodles and sauces. So you can have kind of a fun, unique pasta night in your house, or you can, again, put together a fun basket for somebody who doesn't love pasta. I mean, come on. I love vodka sauce probably one of my favorite kinds so this is an area that my children both really love when we come here they'll come and pick a unique drink from somewhere else and they've got loads of those glass marble drinks they usually go for one of those but they also have bubble tea kits which my kids both really love bubble tea as well different kinds of teas in these cans I've tried one of these cans before and it was delicious I love a creamy Thai tea, it's so good. We've got Dragon Ball energy drinks here. Some Bob Ross drinks, Hello Kitty. 
and then those ever popular poppy drinks. I mean, this is a bottle opener. I'm into it. I think that this is a great gift and I kind of wanted it, <laughs> to be honest. We also have these little drinking buddies. So if you're doing a party, it just kind of helps people identify their drink. Another bottle opener, looks like a little doggy. I can tell that this is kind of their like drinkware area. They got all sorts of stuff. A ring for champagne. That would be fun in like a guest room. This is a really pretty mirrored tray. Be wonderful in a bar. They have whiskey balls. Just different trays and holders. And then back here, they had some different kinds of nuts, which again would make a wonderful gift for somebody. Um, especially if you know somebody that enjoys beer, you can get them some different nuts to enjoy with their beer. Got cracker mix, beer nuts. It's like an animal carnival frosted crackers. I wonder if those are better than normal animal cookies. I don't like those circus ones. They always leave a film on the top of my mouth. They've got almonds and candied pecans. All sorts of choices. And then also for those keto people, they've got all sorts of pork rinds. I just kind of wanted to stand back and show you guys. They have quite the collection of wine here. Now these, Chicago Cheese Crunch. They are caramel and cheese mixed together. I was very curious about that one. And they also have some Butter Rum Crunch. Yum. S'mores Crunch and Bourbon Crunch. Ah, oh, those all look heavenly. And pretzels. Again, charcuterie boards, gifts, snacks for yourself. Lots and lots of choices here. I kind of wanted to stand back too and just show you guys that you can build your own dining set here. They have all sorts of chairs and different tabletop choices. We had purchased a table here before and it was pretty nice. I really love these glasses down here. The design of them are so pretty and the glass just felt nice in my hands. I really like those. I kind of like colored glass in general too. I just think it's really pretty. Oh yes, these were really nice. Nice and thick. I love the bubbled sides. Definitely can get a dupe at Walmart, but I will say that the quality of these are a lot thicker than what I've seen there. Iridescent glasses. So pretty. Lots of different wine glasses that are very pretty. You hear my janky cart and rolling with me. Fun cookie jars, polka dot bowls, very cute. These were nice quality plates and they were on clearance. Still kind of expensive for one plate, but if you're not a very big family, or you're just getting backup plates. It's not bad at all. Okay, a little clearance end cap here. Just kind of glancing. Seeing what things look like. Simple design plate. Microwave safe. Love to see it. Kindness matters. Yes, yes it does. Be freaking kind. It's not that hard. We have different plate sets over here and I really love these scalloped plates. I think they're so unique. Just pretty. I think that they would make a table set up look so nice. Some basic white, kind of like a honeycomb design. 
And I love that you can make your own silverware sets here. Oh yes, yes, I forgot about these. The floral imprint plates, so pretty. These little glasses are fun. I don't know what you put in them. Maybe a candle or some sort of boozy drink. I really love this glass. The bubbled outside of it is gorgeous. So pretty. These plates were pretty cool too. I liked the design of them. I thought that they were kind of modern and the sunburst one was especially my favorite. We have different charcuterie setups for you so you can get the meats and you can get your your boards here as well. That little salt and pepper shaker of strawberry is so cute. They definitely have like a strawberry theme kind of sprinkled throughout the store. So if you're going that vibe, they got you covered for sure. I really like this bowl. I think that would be so pretty to serve a big salad out of. It's so, so pretty. I love it. See, strawberry, strawberry cookie jar. I got very excited about this big old soup bowl. It's so cute. It's the little toadstools or the mushrooms, whatever you want to call them. I love it. We have little kitty cat measuring spoons, which are kind of kitschy and fun. They have lots of bakeware, and I love bakeware that has that rubbery fill where you can just pop things out. I thought it was kind of pricey though, so I think stick to Marshalls, stick to Walmart, and you're gonna find better priced items on that. Good baking ware, if you're looking for something like that, or just cookware, lots and lots of choices. This is another clearance end cap, just kind of glancing over it. This little recipe box was pretty cute definitely gave me the 70 vibes so did these little fruit canisters i don't know why i just stuttered C -c canisters <laughs> i'm tired of talking you guys this this video is about an hour long holy smokes and you're still with me right now bless your souls you must really want to go to world market look at these bag clips so cute I love them. They had a little kitty cat one, but I think the battery died on this one. I think I would hate one that meowed, though, especially when I'm trying to get sneak my little before bed snack. <laughs> beautiful aprons here. So beautiful. Would recommend an apron for sure when you cook. And then lots of kitchen towels to end this shopping trip on. So cute pulling away from world market right now and i just want to know some feedback from you guys what do you think of world market do you shop there are you not able to shop there do you feel like it's overpriced do you feel like it's fair priced um is there any areas of the store you wish i would have taken it a little bit slower i certainly feel like i slowed down when it came to the rugs because I didn't realize they had that cute of like bathroom rugs. For some reason I wanted to say birthday rugs, which is kind of silly, isn't it? But anyways, just wanna know what you guys think. I absolutely love World Market and things that I've gone there for before are uh, furniture. We got one of our uh, tables from there before and it's been a fantastic table. Um, it came with a bench and beautiful uh, chairs. We just outgrew it. Our house got um, kind of moved around and we felt like it was just a little bit too big for the space. Um, but I've gotten jewelry there. I was actually wearing the moon earrings that I showed in this video just the other day and I always get compliments on them because they're so pretty. Um, I love going there for their snacks and I feel like I kind of just scanned quickly through those but it is such a fun store to go to to look at snacks from different areas. Um, my 
oldest specifically loves that store because he loves finding candy from you know different countries and getting drinks and stuff that are from different countries and he's always just enjoys that and he'll get this random hair where he'll be like can we go to world market and obviously i'm gonna say yes because world market's a good fun place and i really honestly love their kitchen stuff like if i had endless cabinets and if i was this big entertainer world market would be where it was at for me because i love their stuff but i will say some of their stuff i can find copycats of at uh walmart because like those pretty colored glasses i know that i've seen um pioneer woman make her version and i want to say they're about five bucks cheaper a glass so there are some things that I see sometimes where I'm like, I know I've seen this, like the iridescent glasses. I know I've seen those at Walmart too. So it's certainly worth looking at different stores that might be cheaper just to see if they have copycat uh, designs. But there was a lot of stuff I thought that were just so stinking cute at World Market. And if I had the space, the money, I would do it. But you know, girls got to reel it in and you guys help me do that by doing these shop with me is because I get to enjoy and admire things without necessarily buying it so I've got a bag here I did purchase I got a few things for uh, Easter the last time I went through and then this time I got a few little snacky surprises for my husband because I thought you know what he's a good man and he deserves a little surprise so let me know down below if you love this give it a thumb up let me know if you want me to go to another store um, and if there's any stores you'd like to do a shop with me at let me know let me know all the things just let me know I hope that you guys are doing well whenever I get this uploaded and I until next time take care love always Bye.